The lone survivor in the Greene County car crash on Friday has been released from the hospital and is now recovering at home. Three high school students died in that crash Friday afternoon. Their families are trying to cope with the unthinkable loss of their children. Our Carrie Larson spoke with Gage Noble's family today who shared their pain and gratitude for the community's support. Your life's over when your child's life's over. The loss of a child is something no parent should ever have to face. And it's just something that no family ever expects to bear. But Tammy and Dan Noble are one of three Monroe parents who now know what it's like to lose what they love most. And when it comes to your own family, uh, it, it just hits so hard that uh, yeah, it's truly, it's just hard to function. I just feel, feel bad for the other families going through the same thing we're going through. You know, you just you just can never replace a child. Remembering their own child, the Noble say Gage was full of life. He was my soul. I loved him. He was so funny, and he was so loving, and he was such good friends. Like everyone loved him. Inside their home is a shrine made in Gage's honor, displaying what he loved most. He was just great. He liked hunting. He liked fishing. He loved his dog Shooter. It also displays an outpouring of love shown from the community. This is wonderful. I can't believe all the friends that have come forward. People I don't even know are bringing food and giving great thoughts and love to our family. We just can't express, you know, how grateful we are in this horrible time of the loss of our son. And I just really appreciate everyone in the community who knows my brother and I and my family mm -hmm. and everything they're doing for us right now to help us get through this hard time. The nobles know even tougher times are ahead, but will always hold on to the memories of a light gone too soon. I'm gonna miss him so much. I love him so much. Carrie Larson, WISC News 3. A celebration of life for Gage is tomorrow from noon to six at the powerhouse in Monroe. His funeral service will be held from six to seven at the same location. The entire community is invited to attend. Earlier in the day, friends and family held a special vigil for the three teenage victims at the high school. Today was the first day back since the crash. A GoFundMe has also been set up for the victims, and as of tonight, more than $10,000 has been donated, which is more than their goal.